talk about being inspired, but what does that mean? Does the light bulb go on in our heads, revealing some kind of epiphany? Or is it something we walk towards one step at a time? Is it an internal or an external experience? The word is defined as the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. But I can't help wondering if there isn't more to it. I'm Marie Weichman. I'm an artist and an educator. I teach art at Olympic College in Bremerton, Washington. It's my job to pass down the knowledge I've acquired in my life as it relates to creativity, knowledge that includes history, cultural diversity, nonverbal communication, creative thinking, and problem solving, and of course, technical skill in a variety of materials. Most people recognize inspiration is a tool for artists. We use it every day, but we're not the only ones. Everyone uses it whether they know it or not. So why is it so hard to teach others how to do so with intent? How to strategically use inspiration as a tool to make a better life. Why? It's not the same. Regardless of who we are or what we do in this world. I decided I needed to explore this question further, so I applied for a sabbatical from work with two goals in mind. To explore inspiration through an interdisciplinary lens, and to teach myself how to use new technologies as an educational tool more fitting for our 21st century world. That second goal was necessary because the COVID-19 pandemic had just pushed our classrooms off campus and into our private living spaces. She took the legs off and she used paper mache and just built it up and created a new torso form that might be a little bit bird-like, which is very enjoyable. We like that. It communicates beauty. It communicates uh, an altered sense of self. But before I move from the classroom to the living room, I'm gonna need some ideas. Maybe what I need is some inspiration. Not only was I experiencing the pandemic from an educator's perspective, but also as the wife of a firefighter. My husband works for the city of Kirkland Fire Department. When the pandemic hit, they were the ones who first discovered something unusual was going on. Kirkland became the epicenter of COVID overnight. From those first days when the stories coming out of the Life Care Center of Kirkland made their way into every living room in America, I was aware that we would need to pivot fast to a new way of living, not just for a while, but maybe for the foreseeable future. So just put that thumb in. As I said, I teach art, specifically studio sweet. art, which means I teach students how to make things with their hands, using a variety of tools and materials they've most likely never touched before. No one really thought the art department would survive the pandemic, but a few of us knew otherwise. We knew that artists all over the world had taken to social media platforms to share ideas, techniques, and portfolios. If they can do it, then we could do it, right? Well, fast forward to the first quarter of online ceramics and sculpture, and it became very clear quickly that my lone computer with its Zoom software and its audio visual capacity was not going to show my students what they need to see when watching a construction demonstration. And you know, if you look at this, um, to, I don't know how focused it's going to be, but this was going to require a crash course in new technologies and skills that I don't have. And I was going to have to learn them fast. Thankfully, I have a nephew in the business. With my plan in hand, 
it's time to get started. I hope you'll follow along with me as I interview Ren, along with some amazing people who will be sharing their stories of success and inspiration with us. This series of blogs and the accompanying videos will hopefully clarify my answers to my initial questions about inspiration. This journey will also provide me with the opportunity to practice the new skills needed in the classroom as we move out of the pandemic and towards a new world of emerging technology and human adaptation. So come with me and let's travel the world together looking for inspiration. They will. Uh, hold on, that was my fire alarm. This was going to require a 